More government oversight, more regulation. It's not something Republicans here at the state capitol are often in favor of. But that doesn't appear to be the case when it comes to the Arizona School for the Deaf and Blind. You wouldn't think the Arizona School for the Deaf and Blind would be stirring up controversy at the state capitol. But that's exactly what's happening. We want to make sure that it's very clear. Today, parents, students, and educators came together to let lawmakers know they want to have a say on the future of their school. When I have reached out um, and, and, and asked to have individual meetings to discuss the concerns, to be a part of the process, I've received absolutely no response. Just last month, the House of Representatives voted unanimously to allow the special needs school with campuses in Phoenix and Tucson to keep operating for another eight years. We want the eight-year continuance. But things hit a snag Wednesday when the Senate Government Committee cut the extension from eight years to two. Republicans support the cut, Democrats do not, saying it would lead to constant audits that would interfere with the education process. What's the reason for this? We, we didn't get a really good answer as to why this particular school has to be continued for two years. Committee Chairman Jake Hoffman of Queen Creek cited the need for more oversight and more scrutiny. We have a constitutional duty to ensure that we are delivering optimal educational services for the deaf and blind children of this state. Allowing eight years to go by without legislative oversight is a failure of our job. Hoffman did not mention any specific incidents or red flags that would create concerns about how the school for the deaf and blind is run. The school has a governing board that meets twice a month. Let's work together to save the lives of Arizona's deaf, hard of hearing, blind and deafblind students. One of the speakers at today's hearing was Academy Award winning actor Troy Kotzer, a graduate of ASDB and a Mesa resident. He said the Arizona legislature has been approving extensions for the school since 1912 and lawmakers have no business getting in the way. Kotzer is hoping a similar Senate bill to extend the school for five years will be approved instead. I had so many benefits. I found my identity there. I found out who I am. I identified as a deaf person and learned ASL because of this unique school. I wouldn't imagine what my life would even be like without it. I'd probably be really struggling. Both bills to continue operating the Arizona School for the Deaf and Blind will now move on to the Senate Rules Committee. Whether lawmakers recommend two years or five years, we'll keep you posted. Reporting at the state capitol, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.